So let's get started this evening. We begin with the introduction of the former Senator John Edwards. He's first. A warm round of applause. Maybe because you're first, or maybe because you own the crowd tonight, we will have to wait and see. Let's get right to it. There was quite a little dust-up that Republicans had in their debate over the question of evolution. So I'll put the same question to you. Do you believe in evolution, or do you believe in creationism? Uh, I believe in evolution. What do you say to all the people, and there are millions of people, who go to church every Sunday and who are told very clearly by their pastors that, in fact... The earth was created in six days, that, uh, that it's about creationism. Are those people wrong? Are their pastors wrong? No. For, first of all, I've, I grew up in, in the church and uh, grew up as a Southern Baptist, was baptized in the Baptist church when I was, when I was very young, a uh, uh, teenager at the time. And I was taught many of the same things. And I think it's, it's perfectly possible to make our faith, my faith belief, system consistent with a recognition that there is real science out there and scientific evidence of evolution. I don't think those things are inconsistent and I think a belief in God and a belief in Christ in my case is not, not in any way inconsistent with that. There are people who say well it's actually isn't it mutually exclusive? I mean either man was created by you know from Adam's rib or, or in fact that uh, man came evolution wise from apes. Aren't the two mutually exclusive? No I don't think they are because the hand of God was in every step of what's happened with man. The hand of God today is in every step of what happens with me and every human being that, that exists on this planet. You had a question during the debate yesterday about gay marriage. And with all due respect, I thought you dodged it a little bit. So I'm going no. to ask you. No. Maybe it's just me. What, what a ridiculous But I will. <laughs> Just ask it again, maybe more pointedly. Do you think homosexuals have the right to be married? No, I, not personally. Now you're asking about me personally, but I think there's a difference between my belief system and what the responsibilities of the President of the United States are. It is the reason we have separation of church and state, and they're very good people, including some people that I'm very close to. Uh, my daughter, who's sitting on the front row here tonight, uh, feels very differently about this issue, and I have huge respect for those who have a different view about this. So I think we have to be very careful about ensuring that the President of the United States is not using his belief system and imposing that belief system on the rest of the country. But so if what it's that, your... So what that, I'm sorry, that's all I was going to say is what that, I think what that means in this case is the substantive rights that go with partnership, civil unions, for example, and all the substantive rights that go with that should be recognized in this country, at least in my judgment, should be recognized. And I think it is not the role of the federal government to tell either faith-based institutions, churches, synagogues, uh, what they should or should not recognize, nor should the federal government be telling states what they should recognize. If you think something is morally wrong, though, you morally disagree with it, as President of the United States, don't you have a duty to go with your moral belief? No, I think that, first of all, my, my faith, uh, my belief in, in Christ plays an enormous role in the way I view the world. But I think I also understand the distinction between my job as President of the United States, my responsibility to be respectful of and to embrace all faith beliefs in this country, uh, because we have many faith beliefs in America, and for that matter, we have many faith beliefs in the world, and I think one of the problems that we've gotten into is some identification of the President of the United States with a particular faith belief, as opposed to showing great respect for all faith beliefs. 